Well, hello everybody. Welcome. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your March 2021 career and finance reading for all Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. This is, as always, a general and intuitive reading, so not all the messages that come out will be for all of you. Take the parts that pertain to your particular situation and leave the rest behind. If you are new to my channel, then welcome in. And if you're returning, then welcome back. And I appreciate your likes, shares, subscribes, and your beautiful energy and your wonderful comments as well. So let's see where we go here. Messages for Leo, please, for the month ahead for March 2021 for their career. What do we need to know about their career and their money? You might also want to check out your moon and rising sign readings as well, if you know those from your birth chart, um, for some additional messages, okay? So, messages please for Leo. Alright, so I'm just going to get the overall energy of your reading, okay? Adjacent possibilities. I love that energy. We have goddess of the moon coming out as well. And then we also have cornucopia. Ooh, I like that. Alright, so... Follow your intuition, people, okay? There's lots of opportunities and abundance around and available for you, but you may need to look in places that you didn't previously think of. Adjacent possibilities. Sometimes the real path to our dreams is not right in front of us, okay? Sometimes we have to look to the left, to the right, up, down, look in places that we previously didn't think might hold any answers. Okay, and it feels as though you're going to do that, okay, by listening to your intuition. The goddess of the moon is all about your intuition, listening to your wisdom, okay, finding your true path to prosperity, all right, so listen to your gut, okay, that gut feeling that you've got, and if you get a little bit of, um, let's say you get a little spark of an idea, and you just brush it aside, go and revisit that again, okay, because... Uh, that could actually be leading you to something that little that little voice in your head okay that um, you know you might be getting some sort of signs uh, seeing some sort of repeating messages your dreams okay with that goddess of the moon energy okay your dreams might be trying to tell you something okay whatever it is there's a lot of opportunities for abundance around you you just need to um, look elsewhere okay um, and again, it could be, you know, it could be a career path that you didn't think about, right? Because it feels as though you, you likely have a lot of transferable skills. Okay. And, you know, if you are looking for a new job, okay, whether you are working right now or not, okay, if you're looking for that million dollar opportunity, so to speak, okay, that, um, something that, that pays you not just what you're worth, but more than you're worth for some of you. Okay, sometimes that might require looking at a different, uh, a different industry, okay, something where you can apply all of your knowledge and your skills, you know, and gives you a little bit of a challenge, perhaps, okay, but leave no, no stone unturned and no door unopened, okay, again, that goddess of the moon, follow your instincts, okay, listen to your intuition, you've got a very deep inner knowing, it's a very spiritual, very psychic energy that comes out of that goddess of the moon so some of you just have that deep inner knowing about what you want and how to get it um and then others you there's messages trying to come through and you just need to pay attention with them okay um <clears throat> and we have beautiful new beginnings for some of you this is card number 11 cornucopia mm -hmm. okay there is tons of opportunity around you mm -hmm. and whether this is you know a brand new job or whether this is um investment opportunities perhaps okay you might get um you might just get some sort of epiphany one day and you're like oh i never thought to think about investing over here um and if you do okay it feels as though there's something very positive um it's almost as though you struck gold okay so whatever your situation okay even if that's that you know promotion some of you might get um you know, really uh, brave and march into your boss's office and ask for a raise. All right, because after all, you're worth it. Okay. And some of you have been very dedicated and, um, you know, very loyal to your company. And uh, you may have had more responsibilities than your position really warrants having. And, you know, now it's like, you know what? You know, I like the work. I don't mind doing this extra. 
but you know, I need some further compensation, right? Of course the, you know, conversation would go a little bit more business like than that. All right. But that's pretty much the gist of it. All right. And it's horrible to have to go in and ask for a raise. I've been there a few times myself and it's really embarrassing, uh, a little bit degrading actually for, you know, depending on who you're dealing with. Um, but the worst that they can say is no. And I feel for some of you, the energy coming out of here is that if you do get that no answer, you're looking elsewhere. Okay. You're like, no, I'm out of here. Okay. I'm out of here. I know my self-worth. And uh, I'm going to go find something a little bit different. So let's pull your tarot. So let's get to the heart of the matter. All right. <laughs> and we have that magician. How am I receiving these? Okay. We have the magician coming out first. Okay. So this is right bang smack in the middle of your reading. Okay. So you are manifestation station here. You've got a laser focus. You're trying to put your dreams into reality, okay? That moon card here, it feels as though some of you may be doing um, some law of attraction work. You might have uh, a vision board writing um, um, abundance checks, perhaps, with the phases of the moon, okay? But you are very resourceful. You're leaving no stone unturned, right? That adjacent possibilities card as well, okay? You're being very resourceful, and you have that laser focus. You are bringing your dreams into reality, and nobody is going to hold you back. So... If you're um, currently not working, okay, you're trying to call in a brand new opportunity, right? That's that cornucopia, that number 11, that new beginning, okay? Um, something that will um, allow you to use your skills um, to not only your highest good, but also to bring in some money, okay? Very much a manifestation energy with this one, right? And you've got everything in alignment, okay? It feels like your head, heart, body, mind, soul, you name it. So. With this card coming out here, work your magic, okay, um, to bring about whatever it is that you're trying to improve, right? This can be you trying to find that um, brilliant investment opportunity that pays you some money, okay? It gives you some glorious dividends, right? And again, uh, that adjacent possibilities, you're not leaving any stone unturned with that. So the, with the magician always comes the caveat, right? The what you think about, you bring about. So even if you have doors shut in front of you, and even if the, even if you have a million no's, okay, keep on going and stay positive because it feels as though you do have a deep inner knowing that the right opportunity is going to come for you, okay, and will present itself to you. But um, you need to remain focused and remain positive. What's crossing you? We have the seven of air. Now I love the seven of air in this deck because this is all about nonconformity. Okay, um, being you, uniquely you, not um, not conforming to anyone else's uh, way of thinking, um, and you're certainly not people pleasing with this. And it feels like because this is crossing you, okay, because normally the seven of air is one of such great confidence and self esteem, okay, and gives you that inner boost that you need to live life on your own terms, right? And you're not a brown noser. You're not a, you know, ass kisser per se. Okay. And you're not living your life to please other people. You're, ple you're living your life to um, dance to the beat of your own drum. And you're also a leader. Now with this in your crossing position, it feels like some of you are in a situation where you kind of have to you guys, instead of sticking it to the man, okay, you kind of have to conform to what the man wants, okay, for now, but that's not going to last too long if you're put in that kind of position, right? Because, you know, you have a lot of strong, powerful forces behind you. So you might conform to tradition for a certain amount of time, but it doesn't feel like for very long, okay? Because your, unique, your, your, your uniqueness okay, will always burst to the surface and shine through. Okay, so it just feels like some of you are in a position where you don't get to use all of your skills to the best of your ability. Um, if you have recently lost your job, okay, that seven of air, okay, you are, because it usually is very much about self-confidence, your self-confidence may have taken a knock a little bit, right? And you know, even though um, it feels as though you you know there's a lot of opportunities out there for you, um, you know, and, and you may have had a bunch of doors closed already, especially if you're you're on a job search. A lot of people are out of work at, at the moment, right? Um, and it almost feels as though you're on the verge of taking something that 
may not be your dream job or may not be your perfect opportunity just because it's the only thing coming in. Okay, but with the magician there, the right opportunity is there for you. So do your homework, obviously. I mean, you know, um, obviously, if, you, if you've been out of work for a while, maybe depending where you are, you may or may not have like unemployment benefits or something like that coming in. Okay, and if it's a matter of, you know, paying your rent or paying your mortgage or your bills, um, you know, and keeping a roof over your head, obviously, you know, um, you might need to take something in the interim while you're waiting for your perfect opportunity to come in, but it doesn't feel as though you're going to be um, taking something that doesn't work for you for very long, okay? It uh, feels um, you would do something like that temporarily, but keep on looking while you do that, okay? Because, I mean, let's face it, we all have financial obligations, right? We can't all just sit around waiting for the perfect opportunity to come in when, um, you know, when we've got, uh, you know, the bank manager or the credit card company knocking at your door. Okay, so... Um, what's beneath you we have the page of water okay so uh, a few different things with this uh, with this energy here for one you may be thinking about your children and your family the pages um, can quite often represent children so it feels as though the well-being um, the well-being of your family or your children are really what's driving you forward this is your unconscious right this is really what's driving you forward what's beneath you okay even if it's not in your conscious thought necessarily Okay, um, you know, so you, you're trying to build a better life for them and uh, also for yourself, okay, but really for them, okay, because you, it feels, I'm getting an energy that for somebody that you want your children to have a better life and more opportunities than what you have had, okay. You're also, some of you looking for a chance to be creative, to love what you do, okay, um, you're not necessarily just chasing the money, although that's a great side benefit, okay? Especially if you can do what you love, love what you do, you will never have to work a day in your life and the money will follow. Um, it's advice that a lot of people really wish that they got many years ago because, um, you know, it's uh, slightly slightly different. It depends, on your, it depends on your upbringing, but some families really push their kids out into the world um, to, you know, start making money right away while others... Um, are a little bit more, uh, not necessarily spiritual, but more um, kind of global thinkers, I guess we'll say. And they will encourage their children, they'll give their children the, the support that they need to follow their dreams and do what they love and wait for them, you know, give them a helping hand until they start to make money doing what they love, right? Um, you know, but it feels as though here you're really looking for something that gives you emotional satisfaction as well as, um, you know, as well as some money. Okay. Um, this may be with this page here, this may be an, um, a career path that you, um, that you started to follow years ago. And it feels as though you, for practical reasons, you most likely had to, uh, veer off the path that you were on and you may have had to take something, um, that, you know, gave you a decent career, a decent paycheck, but really didn't speak to your soul. Okay. But, uh, you've got all of this, all of this really driving you forward. Okay. And it feels as though you've got a lot of creativity bursting out of you as well. Okay. But you're waiting for that right opportunity to come in. Okay. And that's exactly what you're manifesting, right? So your heart is open to that kind of opportunity. Okay. Something that, um, really gives you, uh, a better, a better sense of self okay so let's see <laughs> your recent past okay thank you <clears throat> your recent past we have the ten of water a lot of peace tranquility stability a lot of happiness um, happy home life okay it feels as though um, things have been pretty stable okay and you know you're really looking for your peace and you know you found it right and whatever that looks like to you um, the 10 of water, it's a 10. It's, um, you know, it's the big one. Okay. And, uh, so it feels as though, you know, again, where it feels as though things aren't really like horrible for you. Okay. Cause you got a lot of th good things going, right. And especially this 10 of water, that's that 10 of cups. Okay. That's emotional fulfillment, emotional stability, happiness, abundance. Okay. But it's, um, 
quite often very much related to your home life and your family. And, you know, so a lot of serenity and peace comes out with this Ten of Water card in this particular deck. I mean, look how happy that uh, that statue is, right? I think it's Buddha, but I don't want to say it wrong. Okay, but, um, you know, so you've, uh, you've come out of a, a period where you have had a lot of happiness. So this can represent a your previous career, perhaps your previous job, if you have somehow lost it, right? And you had, you know, for some of you, you had something that you really did love and that allowed you to have a certain amount of stability at home. And, you know, it feels as though it was um, very healthy, okay? Very healthy balance. Um, but you're looking to make a better, you're still looking to make a better life. So it actually feels as though for some of you, and it won't be for all of you, okay? It feels as though your career, whether it's current, okay, or whether it's the one you had, all right, um, it feels as though even though you had, um, you know, it was pretty peaceful and it was pretty good, okay, it may not have paid the money, okay, the financial rewards that you're looking for. Okay, so let's just uh, go a little deeper into this Ten of Water. What else do we need to know about this Ten of Water? I don't spend too, too long on the on the past just because that energy is, uh, is gone now. Um, but depending on when in the month you see this reading, you may, um, uh, it may still be relevant for you. So clarify this Ten of Water, please. Whoa. Okay. Two of Swords coming out and okay so we've got the two of swords so <clears throat> you've had some decisions to make um, it feels as though you were put in a position where you had to choose a path okay choose um, choose a path of following your dreams and following your your career or perhaps following the money we have the Nine of Wands coming out here as well. Okay, that's that wounded warrior energy. Um, that's the energy of, you know, um, I've been through a lot of obstacles and challenges. I'm tired. Um, you know, I'm almost at the level of defeat. Okay, but um, I'm going to keep on, keep on going on, right? I just need, you know, to rest a little bit. Okay, with that, um, you know, with that energy. So, um, so it feels as though... It feels as though someone may have uh, been through a divorce, okay, or separation from your spouse, um, because again, that ten of water that is a very abundant, very happy kind of energy. But of course, we have this two of swords and the nine of wands here, so um, it feels as though on the surface things may have appeared to be very healthy. Um, and you may have thought that they were, but underneath the surface, it feels as though there was something brewing. And that can also be in your career as well, not just your home life, but I am picking up that energy of um, uh, someone in separation and now you've had to go out uh, back into the workforce, okay? Um, and that left you with a bit of a conundrum, right? What do I do? Like, you know, shit, I've, you know, I've had a career that I love for so long and maybe it didn't pay you a lot of money, but it certainly gave you that satisfaction, but you had two incomes coming in. And now all of a sudden you're, you're left out in the cold. Okay, now um, we also have <clears throat> the Empress coming out, the King of Swords, and the Lover's card. So it feels as though, you know, we have two energies here of choices. The Lover's is Gemini energy, um, but it's, uh, it, you, and it's soul, soulmate energy, okay, uh, harmonious partnerships energy, but it feels as though um, it, it also used to be called the choice. Okay, um, you have a choice. So two energies of making a choice. And now what it actually feels like here, because we do have that King of Swords and the Empress coming out here too with this Lover's card, it feels as though, um, <clears throat> excuse me, for one, you're in separation with your partner. Okay, um, and it's it's got that stay or go energy. It's like, I'm tired, I feel defeated. Um, you know, we've we've, you know, got a healthy, we've got good, you know, healthy children. You know, we've got a roof over our heads, but um, it feels as though it's been a, a bit of a battle, okay, with your person, and it feels as though you've made a choice or someone's made a choice 
to stay or to go. What it also feels like here is that um, you may have been uh, in business partnership with somebody, okay? Um, either you either you or them, they, they're coming out as the king of swords, right? So someone very intellectual, logical, um, take no prisoners kind of energy, right? Certainly someone that can, um, um, you know, has a lot of business intellect, okay? Um, but it, it feels as though um, you may have been at odds with this person because, of course, one is coming out as that king of swords, right, who uses logic and intellect over emotions. But then the empress, which is ruled by Venus, which is all about love and nurturing and abundant energy, okay, and um, I'm, picking up a sep I'm picking up a separation again. So this could have been a business partnership that you were in, okay, something that um, has been pretty harmonious, okay, with this lover's card, right, or harmonious, uh, harmonious partnerships, but it feels as though something happened, it feels as though someone has made a choice to go, it could have been you, okay, and it could have been them, all right, but I feel as though there was that crossroads kind of moment that, um, you know, either caused a temporary separation, okay, a temporary separation, um, you know, or something that might end up being a little more permanent. Okay. I'm picking up both of those. All right. Now this could also have been a business partnership. Okay. Right. Um, that business partnership and you may just have had two very different business styles. And I do feel that some of you have decided to go it alone. Um, you know, these, these cards here are not like negative. Okay. Um, uh, but there is that nine of nine of wands and of course that two of swords energy. So making a decision, making a conscious choice um, to stay or to go. Now, for others of you, okay, um, you may have recently found your soulmate, okay, and gotten married. All right, now, does that affect your career path and your finances? Hell's bells, yes, it does. Okay, and it feels as though, um, it feels as though if that is you, Okay, there's a lot of love here. Okay, there's deep spiritual bonds and connections here. And that, um, uh, you know, it, it feels as though, you know, you had um, with that nine of wands, right? You've had, um, you know, some ups and downs, just like any couple does. But you've really come into your own and you've really solidified that connection. And now, you know, uh, you're, you know, you were thinking about what do I want to do with the rest of my life, right? I'm ha I've got a happy home life. I've got my soulmate. Okay. And I really love where I, are, where I am. And, you know, but now it might be time to um, figure out a different career path, right? That nine of wands energy there. And um, it feels as though you finally have this partnership that allows you to follow a different path. Okay. Um, very interesting energy coming out there. So take all that as that resonates, right? Because that 10 of water is an incredibly positive card. Okay. So, um, you know, so whether you had that business partnership, you know, or, you know, again, recently got married, found your soulmate congratulations, right? Because, um, you know, it's beautiful when that happens, right? Um, or, you know, just that partnership, that path that you loved. Okay. Um, but now it's time for a new life. So however that is resonating for you. You could have had an argument or something like that, or the business could have folded. Okay. Um, you know, and, and now you're like, Ugh, now I got to hoof it on my own. All right. So let's have a look at what is crowning you. Okay. This is your thoughts, your goals, your possibilities. What do we have in this crowning position, please? There we go. Ah, uh, yeah, here we go. Okay. So we have the hermit and the messenger of air. So the hermit is a solitary energy. Okay, so some of you, yes, you have uh, decided to go it alone, okay? Um, the Hermit is a very spiritual energy, and it's one of tapping into your deep wisdom, uh, doing some soul searching with this, uh, with this Hermit here. So um, it feels as though even if you do have a happy home life, okay, perhaps you have previously had a job where you just needed to put money on the table. Now you have two incomes, you, you've got your happy home life, and now it's trying to figure out what your soul path is as far as a career goes, okay? Um, for some, you can be in separation, right? Because again, this, this hermit is a solitary energy, and even though you've had a great home life and 
uh, a great business life perhaps um, in your past. Now it's time to forge a new path for yourself and go it alone. And you're not just going to, you're not, if you can help it, okay, you're not just going to take any old career path that comes across your plate, okay, you're going to do something that really does speak to uh, your higher self, okay, and to your soul follow, you're looking for that soul path with that, um, with that energy there, and it feels as though with that adjacent possibilities, okay, you may have to get a little bit inventive, but with the hermit coming out with the magician there, you are, again, very much in touch with, um, you know, with your higher self, okay, also with your intuition, right, and you're working it, okay, you're working it, right, you're going to bring in you're going to bring in the opportunity of a lifetime for yourself and the messenger of air. Okay. So this is conquest energy. This relates to the Knight of swords. Okay. So, um, expect some communication for one. Um, it feels as though if the, if there's been some stagnation, okay. Um, by doing that soul searching, by doing that work there, and it feels as though by also looking in places that you didn't think of, okay, there's going to be some communication start flooding on in here for you. Okay, this is also you getting your thoughts in alignment, okay, um, getting in alignment with your, um, with your higher self and your intuition, right, this air, air is um, not just about um, talking to other people or communicating with other people, it's also with yourself. So it feels as though you're really doing that soul searching. And um, you're being truthful with yourself as well. Okay, you're cutting to the heart of the matter, um, and it feels as though you're doing you're doing the heavy spiritual lifting here, with this uh, with this energy. And you know, it's like I've been on a certain path, and you know, I'm you know, even though you might have to take something that um, you know that puts food on the table for yourself at the moment, it feels as though you're not gonna you're not gonna stop searching until you find the right opportunity for yourself as well, even if you have to do something um, temporary. Okay. So you're taking that action. Okay. And your, uh, it feels as though your communication skills are on point. You're, uh, putting some resumes out into the universe. Perhaps you may also have be having that communication with your current workplace, right? That 10 of water energy. And of course we did have the lovers and, um, you know, and the, the Empress and the King of Swords coming out. And those could be the people that own your company. Perhaps it's a uh, family owned business and you might be uh, going up to them and wanting to expand their business for them or you're looking for some sort of uh, raise, right? Because it feels as though um, it feels as though they may, for some of you, rely heavily on you and you're looking for something better. They may, uh, oddly enough, this won't be for everybody, but I am getting um, I am getting the energy that someone might ask them to be uh, a business partner. Okay, they might want be wanting to bring you into their business on a deeper level than just being an employee. So, ah, here we go. Hmm. So your near future, we've got the seven of earth. Okay, so this is all about uh, strategy. Okay, um, looking at your current situation, looking at your foundation, your knowledge, your skills. Okay, um, the opportunities that are out there, and this is you looking for a different way, a different strategy. Okay, trying to figure stuff out. That's that adjacent possibilities energy right there. Okay, and you're not going to leave any stone unturned. Um, but it's also an energy of being patient and knowing that the right opportunity is out there and will come. Okay, but uh, it does feel as though you uh, you will be thinking outside the box. All right, looking for opportunities in places where you didn't necessarily expect. All right. So, um, and again, you know that there's something better for you. You know that there's something coming in. Now, some of you, this can be, um, this can be a business opportunity as well. You're not necessarily going to work for anyone else, especially with that seven of air there. And, you know, again, you might be considering opening your own business, um, working for yourself, doing something creative but also something that, you know, pays you some money. And here we go. Yeah, we've got the fool coming out here. This is your current attitude, how you feel about the situation. Man, you are full of a zest for life with this energy. You're ready to start a new adventure, something new, okay? Something that takes you to the future. You're willing to learn. You're willing to try something different, okay? You're willing to think outside the box, but you fe it feels you're very much in touch with your spirituality. I mean, we do have the magician 
um, and the hermit coming out there for you as well okay and it feels as though it's got a surrender kind of energy to it it's like okay come on universe um, you know I've done I've done my work I've done my heavy lifting and now you just trust that a brand new opportunity will come in here for you whatever that means for you a new job a promotion a raise a new business opportunity a new investment opportunity if you've got some money kicking around that you can um, invest in something okay and you're willing to take a chance with the fool energy okay you're willing to step into something new and take that chance and you just have that knowing that no matter what opportunity you decide to embrace you will have success in your future and again in alignment with that hermit energy okay this can be this can be you if you're in separation with your person right you're you're ready to make a new life for yourself okay but um, but it really feels as though you know you're feeling stagnant you're feeling a little bit stuck and especially with that seven of air crossing you there it feels like you're in a situation currently where you know you don't get to be your unique self right you don't necessarily have all your skills being put to good use so let's have a look at your environment this is your external influences what's going on around you whoa that is a lot of energy going on around you okay Ah, the page of fire look at that all right there's a lot of inspiration around you here okay now pages again um, can represent children okay they can also represent messages so it does feel that someone may actually have two children perhaps okay um, uh, you know or one that you already have and perhaps another one on the way on the horizon okay it doesn't have to be that won't be for everybody but um, but it does feel as though they are a huge influence on the direction that you take on what career path you follow right because you know you're you know even though you may for some of you be doing what you love right now you may be um, overburdened and it may not give you um, enough uh, time at home perhaps um, but the page of fire is also about beginnings okay messages coming in so it looks like you know you are manifest you are manifesting right now as well okay so it looks like for some of you this page of fire is a message coming in with an opportunity okay that allows you to tap into that fire energy that you've got right um, tap into your passion your inspiration okay it feels very inspired um, this can also be spirit bringing you a mental epiphany of finding your clear path forward right with that messenger of air and the hermit energy okay you might get that spark somewhere and you know you're making that it there's an opportunity that allows you to put that into action okay make your dreams into a reality so let's get another card what else is here the seven of pentacles okay seven of pentacles coming out twice for you okay so this is spirit reiterating that leave no stone unturned still be patient to find that perfect opportunity okay but there is that opportunity and this opportunity comes in once you re-strategize okay that adjacent possibilities the answer is not directly in front of you okay look to the left to the right up down you name it okay um, the answer could come um, could come for you from um, from a social environment okay could come to you from a spouse all right or through your current business dealings all right somewhere um, somewhere other than right in front of your face the answer is not right in front of your face so be patient okay take a realistic approach to um, you know to figure out where you want to go and what you want to do all right but then it requires that strategy we have the wheel of fortune coming out here for you also okay wonderful fortunate turn of events is uh, is around you this is very lucky energy around you okay and it because you are operating at a very high vibe okay and you are being uh, with that magician okay let me tell you with the magician there and the wheel of fortune 
expect things to start to shift very, very quickly. Okay, this is destiny unfolding as it should. Synchrony, synchronicity meets destiny. Okay, so um, pay attention. Pay attention to signs, symbols, and synchronicities along the way because this is that shift, a surprise coming in. Okay, expect your luck to change um, for the better. Okay, for your highest good. All right, very, very beautiful energy there. Okay, so. Um, if you feel like you've been stuck, they're stagnant, you're starting to wonder if this law of attraction stuff really works, okay? Um, here's your confirmation coming on in. So, um, you know, so pay attention, okay? Because it does still require some activity on your part to continue that wheel turning in the direction that you want it to turn in, okay? And then there's a Knight of Cups as well. So for some of you, this can be two different opportunities coming in for you here, Okay. Um, one that speaks to your, your passion and, you know, uh, leaves you very inspired. Okay. And another one that, um, you know, that, uh, lets you tap into your creativity. Okay. To start something, um, that you can, it feels as though, um, it's not just about, uh, having creativity. Um, it also feels as though you actually are going to create something. Perhaps you're an artist, um, uh, but you're you're creating something to sell uh, or something that brings you revenue. Um, it could be again, it could be an artist, um, musician, perhaps something that uh, taps into your creative side. Okay, um, it can even be something a hobby that you've that you've had for you know quite some time that now you've figured out how to make some money out of it. Okay, but that Knight of Cups brings um, a promise of um, emotional connection. Okay, so for some of you, this could be uh, two different opportunities coming in for you. Okay, um, and for others, this can be this Page of Fire. This can be a message that brings you this very um, abundant, um, prosperous opportunity that speaks to your soul and that um, allows you emotional satisfaction in your career. So take that as that resonates, right? But there is a lot of opportunity and abundance surrounding you, especially that wheel of fortune that's out there for you. Okay. But pay very close attention to those two seven of pentacles, the seven of earth and the seven of pentacles, right? Um, that is two sevens. Okay. So actually we have three sevens. We have the seven of air and the seven of earth twice. So seven, seven, seven. Okay, anyone that's played slot machines knows that 777 is, uh, is really lucky. Okay, very lucky number. So you might want to um, look up the spiritual meaning of 777 and actually 7777 because the goddess of the moon is card number 52 and that breaks down into a seven. Okay, so four sevens in your reading plus that wheel of fortune and the magician. Okay, so whatever in the world that it is that you're trying to bring about, that you're trying to manifest for yourself it's coming okay it's coming so stay focused stay positive and again it does require that action on your part that re-strategizing okay that leaving no stone unturned energy your hopes and fears we've got the hierophant okay now the hierophant is for one a very spiritual energy again okay um card number five okay and fives uh fives are about change now Change doesn't have to be, um, you know, bad, okay, by any stretch of the imagination. But fives traditionally, especially in a tarot reading, tend to be a little bit disruptive. Now, this is in your hopes and fears position. So, for one, it feels as though you're hoping, okay, that you can find a, um, a, business, uh, a business opportunity, a career path, um, a job, an investment, something that uh that allows you to be very committed to okay and something that will uh be with you for a very long time you're not looking for that fly by night um business opportunity okay um also some of you uh if you're in a very happy marriage right now okay and we did see we did see some of that coming out there with that 10 of water and the clarifiers that came out there if you're in a very happy marriage right now it almost it, it's almost got that energy where you're afraid that by following your dreams and following your career path that it might take you too much out of your family atmosphere that you have created, okay, that peace and serenity that you've created. And it may take you out of that and you're, you're afraid that it might affect it negatively. Um, but 
it feels as though you've got a really good solid foundation with that. And it feels as though if you remain committed, you will find everything that it is you're looking for. Okay. Whether that is, you know, um, whether you are alone, okay. And forging a career on your own, you might be in separation with your person, or even if you are, um, you know, still in a happy marriage or a mar uh, happy union partnership. Okay. And it feels as though there, there's a lot of success coming out with this card anyway. Okay. And it almost feels as though while your fears are absolutely justified, okay, um, the positive far outweighs the negative there, okay, because it feels as though for some of you, you do have a very solid, stable home life and a very supportive partner as well, okay, so take that as that resonates for you, but the Hierophant is also an energy of higher learning, okay, not just commitment, um, higher level of commitment, so you know, it feels as though for some, you're not looking, you know, again, you're not looking for any old um, career. You're looking for something where you can commit to them just as much as they commit to you. Okay. You want that reciprocating energy. You don't want it to be one sided, but you're also looking for something that, um, you know, gives you that stability that you're looking for. So let's get your outcome energy. What is the outcome here for Leo, please? So the Hierophant is uh, Taurus energy, by the way, in case I didn't say it. All right, one more. There we go. And your outcome energy, two of fire. Okay, making plans for the future. So um, this is about... Uh, this is about planning for the future, looking out to the future and being ready to make a decision and to pounce the second that opportunity presents itself to you. Um, it's got a little bit of a daydreamer energy around it, but, um, but it feels as though you're ready and poised to take action. So let's get another card. For, wow. Okay. <laughs> That was quite the energy coming out there. Okay, not only are you taking, um, making inspired plans for the future, mapping out your future with that two of fire, you're also um, rising above any kind of conflict that might be in your path on your way. Um, the five of air, it relates to the five of swords, and usually that is, you know, about conflict, right? But in this particular deck, this is finding your peace, rising above any obstacles and conflict that might be in your path. So in your path, I should say. So um, anyone that um, puts, tries to put any kind of doubt in your head, you're shedding off that energy. You're not letting it, you're not letting it get you down, right? Because, you know, again, with this seven of air crossing you, you are looking for something where you can be yourself and you can be uniquely you, right? And something that allows you to um, be the leader that you are. Okay. And, you know, we do have, this is like mother goose kind of, right? We do have geese all around, right? And geese tend to, um, you know, follow the one person that they imprint on, right? And you are that leader. So any disappointments, you're going to shed them off. Okay. You're going to find your peace through any situation. And you do that by making very tangible plans for your future. Okay. Now with this two of fire, this can represent two opportunities that are coming in. And we already see a couple of different opportunities coming in here for you, especially with that wheel of fortune. But it feels as though regardless of what opportunities um, come across your path, you're going to think about it and you're going to take your time making that decision. Okay. Because you really are looking out for your future. And it feels like for some of you, the future of your people that are around you as well. Okay. Your family and your children. Okay. You're not, um, you're not just in it for yourself. And if you are, you know, if you are single, okay. Um, and if you are going on this, this career journey alone, okay. Again, same kind of, same kind of energy right? You are building your own future. You are building, um, you know, uh, a life for yourself where you can be very self-sufficient, right? That hermit energy that's there, that solitary energy. So regardless of your, 
um, you know, of your home life or your uh, relationship situation, right? You are building that plan for the future and you're not going to let anything keep you down. Now, for some of you, that two of fire, that can possibly represent um, some travel in your future. You may end up with a position where you might have to uh, travel for work, um, whether that's like travel on a plane or it could be like... Um, a position where you you still have your home base, but you're out on the road. Um, perhaps like a consultant um, or a sales rep or something like that. Something that requires you to um, not be stuck in an office all day. Okay, not be stuck in a boring office all day. And you may actually have some. You may actually end up with end up with an opportunity that actually allows you to use your conflict resolution skills. That five of air, right? Resolving conflicts. So you might need to, you might be able to put your conflict resolution skills to work. And if you have, uh, if you're, if you're married and you have a couple of children, even if you're not married, but if you have a couple of children, huh, we all know that when you have, when you have children, you need to have conflict resolution skills. Okay, so that's another transferable skill that you can certainly put into your workplace. Um, any, and again, anyone with children does know that, right? It's not easy, uh, not easy dealing with them sometimes. You have to negotiate, like, you know, um, being put in the path of your kids will sometimes turn you into the world's shrewdest negotiator. So I'm going to leave that there for you. Okay, some great stuff happening for you, but I'm going to close out your reading with the wisdom of the oracle. One last message, please, for Leo. What else does Leo need to know? Wow, okay, I'm not taking three. Am I taking three? No, just the bottom one. Okay, just the bottom one. Go the distance, there we go. Okay, uh, card number 47, there's your 11 again. Okay, so we have 11, 11 with that cornucopia, and then one as well with that magician coming out there, okay? So uh, repeating numbers never discount any kind of repeating numbers, right? So go look up the spiritual meaning of um, four sevens and also 11, 11, okay? Actually five ones, I'm not sure. Sorry guys, my camera apparently cut out right then and there. So uh, I'm going to read you the entire message here from the book, all right? Because uh, this is all about uh, going the distance, okay? Persevering, baby steps uh, to get you to that finish line, okay? So the essential meanings are endurance, strength, and the long haul. And we've got the prosperity message. Your most precious dreams are not about instant gratification, but enduring prosperity. This is a time to think long-term and engage in continued action. You will experience momentum building as you translate the ebb and flow into slow and steady movement forward. Your efforts, ideas, and hard work can now lead you to greater riches than you can imagine. Stoke the fire so that an uninterrupted stream of energy is available to support you in all phases of manifestation. Be assured that you are in the right place right now, okay? You are exactly where you're meant to be, okay? And that manifestation energy, that magician energy, very much prevalent in your reading right now, okay? So I'm going to leave that there for you. Hopefully there's messages here that helped you along your way. If so, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know how things are working out for you throughout the month, okay? And uh, um, I thank you so very much for watching. All the best in the month ahead, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.